Hi, I'm Natalie Grange. I'm the Assistant Superintendent of Financial Operations for the Board of Education. Um, I wanted to introduce you to the solution that we've been working on with REI for the State Board of Education. One of the major responsibilities of the State Board of Education is to transfer funds to our school districts and charter schools every month. Um, annually, this is about $4 billion. Um, it's the money that's used by our school districts to pay teachers and to help uh, create good outcomes in students' lives. Uh, about four years ago, um, I, I got my job along with Deputy Superintendent Scott Jones. Um, we received an assignment to fix the accounting problems of the Board of Education. Uh, we noted that we had an accounting system that was largely a database. That database was not transparent, it didn't have any internal controls. We were experiencing grant overpayments, award, um, over awarding problems. Uh, numerous instances of LEAs not being able to know um, how much money we'd given them or how those funds were supposed to be used. Largely, it would take her weeks to enter the payments in manually by hand, and then we'd have to have one to two other people check those to make sure that we didn't have data entry errors, and all those things were manual checks that we had to do every month. Um, with the implementation of the minimum school program, what used to take Jamie weeks now takes her a couple of days. Um, our biggest worry is to make sure that all the transactions make it from one system to the other. Um, Utah Grants sends all of these payments, budget adjustments and the payments both to our accounting system and we're able to reconcile those through a batch process that we're developing. Um, not only is this freed up some time for Jamie, but it enables her to use her brain instead of to manage spreadsheets and databases. Um, she's now engaging and working with our staff to start developing monitoring protocols and performance assessments on these programs. So we can really ensure um, that those funds are being used for appropriate things and we can ensure that the outcomes that are being achieved by students are appropriate and align with the board's goals. With the implementation of our payment process, um, we've been able to uh, reduce the risk associated with errors and increase transparencies with our LEAs. Um, one thing that I like about the system that we've been developing is that we've built not only tools for the State Board of Education, but also for all of our subrecipients and grants managers. Um, they now have dashboards and tracking tools where they can go in and look at awards, they can look at progress reports, they can look at payment reports. Um, and as we're building reports and dashboards with REI, we're better able to help increase efficiency on the grants manager side. Um, again, instead of pushing paper and managing spreadsheets, they're able to use their brains um, and actually go out and use their expertise level in the education field to determine that funds are being used appropriately for students and that they're achieving the outcomes that they were set out to achieve. Um, from our LEA perspective, in the past, everything that we sent them went through email or snail mail. Um, they didn't really have one collection point for all the award letters. They didn't have a collection point for all the terms and conditions. Um, they couldn't monitor the amounts that they had left in their grants or even the performance measures that were being submitted by their, or by their grants managers. Now all that's in one place. Um, we've implemented internal controls at our LEAs, which not a lot of them had before. We require our LEAs to have a two-point um, two sign-off whenever something gets submitted to us. Um, this is very important in our state as we have a big um, focus on uh, adequate internal controls and adequate supervision of staff and employees. Um, so we're able to help with some of that training and implement, uh, the implementation of that with the new system.